Hello, my name is Sean Smith with my co-host Dylan Lasloff and Connor Baldwin. And today we'll be talking about the MLB All-Star Game and the NFL Draft. I think, or what's your opinions on the first three picks of the NFL Draft? I think Caleb Williams was an obvious best quarterback, Heisman last year, uh, two years ago, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Uh, Marvin Harrison going to the Cardinals at number three, probably the best pick in the draft. Harrison is great wide receiver, physical. He can beat players in the safety. And Jaden Daniels to the Commanders. That was a great pick for them. They needed a quarterback badly. They have weapons of Terry McLaurin. They needed that quarterback, and I think that was the right one. I completely agree with all three of those statements. Uh, Marvin Harris. Uh, Harrison Jr. has a dad that was in the NFL, so he has experience. And he's also shown that he was one of the best in college. And then Jaden Daniels to the Commanders. They have Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, you know, a bunch of different assets for him to explore. And then Caleb Martin has already established himself Caleb has already established established himself. Uh, yeah, I agree with both of them. They're all great picks. That's why they went one, two, and three. And Marvin Harrison's definitely one of the best receiver that the NFL has had in a while. And Caleb Williams was an obvious first round pick. Uh, we're now taking callers about this subject. Um, you said about the um the earlier picks of the draft. What about um Xavier Worthy with not having the best route running, but running a four two one uh four yard dash. Um, four two one's pretty. That that's the best in the. Uh, whole NFL thing. So, getting drafted to the Chiefs, I think they they thought he was going to go earlier, but with him on the board still at, at pick 32, that is huge for the Chiefs, especially because their wide receivers is not was not good last year, but they still managed to pull it off in the Super Bowl. That's a good pick, but now let's talk about one of the bad picks. Michael Penix Jr. going to the Falcons. What do you think about that? Uh, I completely disagree. I think uh, Michael Penix was a great pick for Atlanta. He should have been taken higher on the board, and he fell all the way down to eight. And them just signing uh, Kirk Cousins for $260 million for a pretty long time, uh, just to have a um, young quarterback that's established already um, to – just be sitting behind him ready for whenever he gets injured or anything like that is always great for a team and especially to take him lower in the draft was a great idea thinking future well michael Paddock jr is already 26 years old he's almost old like you're talking about and he was actually projected to go early in the second round, not anywhere higher than eight. Eight was actually a surprise for most people. I think Penix is actually a good pick for what the Packers has done with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers uh, mentored Jordan Love for like three years now, and Jordan Love made it to the playoffs to the NFC um, division round, which is great for the Packers. And Michael Penix is getting old, but the, I think the main reason the Falcons picked him is because you don't want Michael Penix destroying the league without him on your team. That's true. Now we can switch over to MLB All-Star Game. What do you guys think about the rosters? Rosters are good. The main thing that stands out, stands out to me is the AL second baseman, Marcus Simeon. I feel like Jose Altuve could have got the spot in there. Jose definitely had a better season. Marcus Semien squeaked in there. I don't think he really deserved the starting spot. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I think Altuve should have had that spot. 
but I still think that uh, the AL will win this All-Star game. Even though they're lacking in pitching, they have amazing, amazing hitters with Aaron Judge, Juan Soto. What do you guys think about only four Braves players being in it, but three of them are pitchers? Do you think anyone else from the Braves should have got on it? Um, no. We all had disappointing seasons. The Braves had disappointing seasons, but until, like, one week after the All-Star game when the votes were in. So I feel like they started to get hot at the wrong time. And that's why they didn't get in it. And um, the only reason Freed is in it is because Chris Sale can't pitch because he pitched on Sunday. So that's the only reason Freed's in it. And then what do you guys think about Shohei Otani winning MVP? What are the chances? Uh, I have think that's really shocking. I do think he's going to win it, but... Shohei going for MVP as a designated hitter is awesome, and I think he is going to win. Shohei has consistently shown he's a good hitter and a good pitcher. So to be on both sides of the field is great. But he also has um, he's shown that he can be better than Babe Ruth with pitching 100 miles an hour and hitting consistent. This entire season. That was a pretty strong remark, uh, better than Babe Ruth. But we can see at the end of the season. Thank you guys for coming to our talk show.